Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can fix harsh lighting on portraits inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So as you can see with this photo, there's quite a bit of harsh lighting on her face in here and on her shirt. So to begin fixing that, we're going to start in our Develop tab here, and we're going to use our Tone and Color paint. And the first thing I like to do whenever I'm fixing harsh lighting is I like to correct for color. So I'm just going to head down to my color area, and I'm going to pull down on the temperature to cool it down quite a bit. That sort of helped make it not look so harshly lit. But when I pull back on that temperature slider, it's going to add in some more true white. So if I hold down my J key, you'll see that with the temperature being so cool, it's added in more true white to my photo. Whereas if I had it before, there wasn't any on the shot but it was a lot more warm than I'd like it. So let's reapply that temperature fix. And now if I hold down my J key, I'm gonna head up to my exposure slider here, and I'm just gonna pull it down until I remove all of that true white from my shot. And by pulling back on the exposure, we're removing a lot of the brightness and highlights from our image. So we need to go back in and pull up on some of the midtones and the whites to make our photo pop a bit more. So I'll just head down to my midtone slider here, and I'll pull up on it a little bit to bring back some of those nice midtones. Now I'm going to head down to my white slider, and I'm going to pull up on it just to bring back some of those natural highlights. And now that we've used our develop tab to set the foundational look for our shot, the next thing I like to do to fix harsh lighting is use local adjustments to dodge and burn. So I'm just going to go into my local adjustments tab here, and I'm going to make sure this is set to darken. Now with my adjustment brush selected, I'm just going to paint this on areas that have quite a bit more exposure than I'd like. So now we can head over to our adjustment, and we'll take the opacity down to zero. Now if we incrementally pull it up, and we turn it off and on, it does a good job of removing a lot of that harsh lighting on her face and on her shirt. And now I'm just going to add one more local adjustment layer, and I'm going to go into my more styles and I'm going to choose Magic Eye Fixer. And the reason I'm picking Magic Eye Fixer is because throughout that developing process, we may have removed some of that brightness and color from her eyes. So I'm just going to brush in a little exposure and structure to make sure the eyes are well lit. Now I'll just head over to my opacity slider, I'll lower it to zero, and then I can incrementally make the adjustment natural. So now if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, you'll see that we've really fixed that harsh lighting simply by using our develop tab and some local adjustments. 